Hey everybody, welcome back to Church Talk, where we talk about everything involving the local church. My name is Rob, and today I'm going to be showing you guys a recap of our sound booth. You guys probably remember on the one of our prior videos, which you'll see it up here behind me, um, I was showing you guys how we done a remodel of our church and we couldn't do anything different with the sound booth because there was an electrical panel that um, was back there, which wasn't a big deal, but I was told that there was a beam that went across the top and was structural. Um, well, that ended up not being accurate. We'd done some investigating and found out that there was no beam up there. There was just, they thought there was. I'm not sure why, but there was believed that there was a beam up there that we could not move. And so I'm going to show you guys what we done and how we opened that up. So let's just go to that video right now. And I'll just kind of talk you guys through just a little bit of it. The very first thing you're going to see here is um, just the clip from one of our previous videos. So you guys watch this clip and we'll come right out of that into our um, into our new opened up sound booth. What ended up happening is, I'll walk back in here and show you real quick. Back here behind the screens, there was a breaker box. And then up here in this area, I was told that there's a beam that runs all the way across. So uh, we weren't able to, to pull this completely out like we wanted to. So that's why we had to put our sound system back here in that room. And here you can see where um, part of it's already opened up. We still have the hole that's cut. So uh, Andrew is just kind of uh, taking the, the camera around or sped it up a little bit so you guys can see. Uh, it's not so slow, but Clark got there a little earlier that morning and he began to just take some of that um, uh, drywall off. Now, we had already prepped. We took all the drywall off the inside of the booth so we could see what we were dealing with. And then uh, once we knew what we were dealing with and we had a plan of action, uh, Clark came in early that morning. You can see him there. Um, let's say this is sped up a little bit, so it's not going to be so long of a video. Um, but this is what Clark's doing now. He's just removing the rest of the drywall. Here I'm just testing voltage, making sure that uh, it is indeed off. Clark had already went and found the breaker that morning. All right, so I'm just going to turn the music up here and let you guys listen as you uh, watch this process. right here so I can't I have this desk right here that folds down 
so I can't put it here because we're going to have a conduit that comes up behind them. So I can't put it over here for the same reason. So I've got to go in this voided out area. And that's right in between two studs. So I would rather put boards across it and, and have it more secure that way. Been loose. Yep. It's, you know what? I bet that helps. Doesn't help with our interference issue either. Mm -hmm. That constant. You see this on your breakers? That's a bad sign. You see right here where it's been arcing. You also see uh, 
Well, it's just charred. It just looks really bad. It's been hot, discoloration of the plastic. But you can actually see where it's been arcing in here. So this breaker has been going bad for a while. Focus is really temperamental. Hey guys, just a quick break from the video. Just want to say thank you for watching. And if this is the type of content that you like, make sure that you hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Hit the bell so you'll be notified when I upload new videos. And make sure you give it a like so that YouTube will continue to push this content on out to others. And one more thing, head over to robinjen.com slash church talk. You can find like the t-shirt I'm wearing, the mug that we have. Enough of that, and I'll back to our video. That's kind of just after, like after you do that thing. part, are you always going to walk up? Just so I know what to play there. Yeah, probably. Okay. I'm going to start down here, though. That's just like a... Are you ready? Just about. <laughs>
All right, now here's when the project is nearly finished. I say nearly because we don't have the cap on the walls not completely finished yet. But uh, but this is what it looked like. So uh, Andrew is just filming some um, some of the finished project here after a Wednesday evening. Everything is already put away and turned off. But this is what everything is uh, ending up looking like. See our, our uh, lighting console there. Um, right beside of it here is the projection uh, computers and then we have our soundboard which has moved over a little bit they can hear so much better now um, then of course beside of it we have our equipment for for our camera um, our, our ATEM there and then the the uh, the monitor and all, and all that for our camera system and then you can see the box is still there it was moved it wasn't a big deal to move um, you can see over in the corner some other wire we still need to uh, put. All right, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Like I say, there was, if you probably saw another roll of wire back there in the corner, um, that wire did not come in yet, but we had old Romex wire that was being used that we want to replace that. And you probably saw, if, you, if you've seen some of the inside of that box, probably thought, wait a minute, there's some... Yeah, the old wiring, it worked, but it's not really right. I mean, we've got some, uh, we now have the wiring to take care of it. We've got the the, uh, the four conductor wire uh, in the BX cable, or some of you guys will call it uh, metal clad cable. Um, so yeah, that stuff will be taken care of, uh, but we got it completely opened up. Hope you guys enjoy the video, and we'll see you guys next time on Church Talk. God bless.